Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today I'll be discussing about installation and configuration of test project. Installation of test project is as easy as an agent as discussed before test project supports operating system like Mac, Windows and Linux operating systems. So it's very very easy all you have to do is just download the agent from the test project.io website and then you're pretty much good to go. Let's start installing then and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my Hyper-V Windows 10 operating system. As discussed in our previous video, I have already configured a test agent in my local Windows machine. So for showing how the installation actually works, I'm going to open Hyper-V Manager in my Windows 10 machine. And then I will quickly show you how to install the operating system fresh Windows 10 installation. So I'm just going to connect this guy over here and then I'm going to resume it and let's try to log in there. All right. So I have already downloaded the test agent in my Hyper-V machine. So I'm just going to install this guy. I'm going to hit yes. So this is the installation wizard for the test agent. I'm going to hit agree. And then I'm going to hit next. So you can see that it is automatically asking me, do you need to install the mobile components? So these are the mobile components which I was talking about. So without even having to have the ADB installed within your machine, it is going to install all those things for you. And it is going to install the test agent in the programs file folder and then going to install that. So you can see that it is currently installing the VC++ installation within my machine. As you know, this is a fresh Hyper-V virtual machine and I don't really have all those dependencies so test project agent is much intelligent enough to install all those required dependencies for me so you can see that it's also installing the Android SDK build with 26 support there that's really cool and it's also installing the Appium as a part of the installation so these are some of the things which was not available in Catalan Studio. So you need to install Appium, you need to install Node.js, and you need to install Android SDK, and you need to set the environment variable. So those things are kind of pain if you're going to do those things within your new fresh installation machine. But those things are completely eradicated here. As a part of this installation, you can also see that it is installing the different kinds of drivers required for Chrome, IE, Edge, and Firefox browser. So once the installation is fully done, I'll be back. All right, the installation is done. I'm gonna hit next, and then if I hit finished, it is gonna start the agent for me within this particular machine. That easy it is. So let's quickly see what installation it has made. So if I go to the C colon program files and you can see that there is a test project agent. So I'm just going to open that. And this is the folder that it has created once we did the installation. So you can see that it already has an Android SDK and then it has the Appium latest drivers and then it has all the drivers like Chrome driver, Edge browser driver, Geekcode driver, IE driver and IE 64 bit driver. And it also has the iOS tools, which is required for the iOS test execution on the real devices, which is really cool. And then you can also see there is a Java JRE and all those installation stuffs. Even Node.js is also installed. So all these dependencies this is required for running the mobile automation as well as for the web browser testing is already installed within this particular machine. That's really cool. And you can see that the test agent has already started in my machine. And now if I go to the Edge browser and if I log into my testproject.io website and now I'm going to do a registration of my new test agent within this particular account that I already have. So if you see the test agent which is already available in my testproject.io you can see this is the host machine that I have which I just showed in my current machine from this machine, this one. And the other agent which I'm going to register right now is gonna be the agent which is currently running in my Hyper-V machine. So I'm just gonna hit this register agent and then I'm gonna call this as agent win10 Hyper-V. And then I'm gonna hit save. 
that's going to take me to the next screen where it is going to look for the agent so I'm just going to hit the register so you can see that once I hit register it is automatically going to poke my current agent which is running in my Windows 10 Hyper-V machine and it is trying to provision the agent within the test project server and you can see that it is currently provisioned automatically this is really really cool all those babysitting nagging stuff is already taken care by the test project.io itself for us and you can see that the automatic agent registration is in progress I'm just gonna hit OK so you can see it is currently doing the registration and once the registration is complete it is gonna do a starting and then it is gonna run the test for me that's really cool so that's the power of the test project itself to do the very basic provisioning of the agent so you can see that I currently have like three agents and one is in Mac operating system and two in Windows operating system and also I can create two more in Linux operating system so now I have like five agents running in my test project and you can see that this five agent is more than enough to run all my tests within test project for free so that's the real power as I said in the introduction video that the free version itself is more than enough to try out test project in much deeper level and now I'm gonna go back to the home and then if I want to run the test in this particular machine so I can go to the exit automation and then I'm gonna create a quick job so once I do this test in Hyper-V and I'm gonna hit next I'm gonna select web and I'm going to select the agent this time. So once I select the agent, which is nothing but the agent which I just created, and if I hit next, it is going to show all the browser which is currently installed in this particular machine. So if I don't really have Chrome browser in this Hyper-V, then for sure it is not going to show the Chrome browser in this particular job option that you have. That's really cool because you don't even accidentally select a browser which is currently not available within your current agents machine so I'm gonna hit finish there and then if I go to the test in Hyper-V you can see it is looking for drop here your first test so I can go to the sample test folder this is where the test which I have created is available so I can just drag this guy from here to this particular job and you can drag as many tests as possible within this particular job and then if you hit run it is gonna run the test for you so I'm just gonna execute that so you can see that currently it is executing the test for me in this particular machine. So you can see the test is currently running in the Chrome browser. And the test should run in the Firefox browser as well. So this is the super simple installation part guys. This is how you can do the installation of of test project within your machine and then you can start running the test by creating a job or even without creating a job you can run the test so we'll be discussing about creating a simple test in our next video and then we'll discuss how we can deep dive creating and working with multiple different controls using test projects so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day